Welcome to the M10 3 review, a wheel which is produced and manufactured by Gotway. And it is the smallest wheel that they currently produce. It's a 10 inch wheel. It's got a little front light on it, which I can't put on because it's not switched on. But you press that button and the front light comes on. This diddy little wheel, it's got a front light, it flashes, it's got a USB port. It's even got a brake light on the back. It's got lights that run over the top of it. What an amazing little machine this is. Now we've been out on it and the range we got out of it was about 14 miles. Now bearing in mind, that's in about two or three degrees temperature. So it's a winter environment here at the moment, wet roads, cold weather, and that's varied um, terrain. So, and altitude as well. So mixed real life, real world, range is about 14 miles approximately depending on your weight as well and the speed you go and your tire pressure and all those sorts of things but that'll give you a ballpark figure of where you want to be it has got some lovely big leg supports now this wheel because it's so tiny is quite a long way down your leg if you're used to riding the bigger wheels sport pads would be better up here somewhere but this is diddy now the brilliant thing about this little wheel is it will fit in a rucksack which is one good thing about it. But so to fit it in, the easiest way of doing it, but not the cleanest way of doing it, is to grab the bottom. So you pick it up and you hold it like this, put it upside down and then slide it into the backpack. That's the best way of doing that. But there's some disadvantages with that. Um, muddy wheel for start, so your hand gets dirty. So unless you're wearing gloves. Secondly, when you pick it up, if you just grab the wheel now and let it go, it'll slide and your thumbs will get caught in there. So this is not a way that Gotway recommend you put it in a bag, by the way. It's just that we found it the easiest. So you lay it sideways like that, then do that. Put it into the bag, but you can see how small this thing is, and how diddy it is, and how light it is. By the way, I'm holding it now. But the mass really is at the bottom end. So it slides in easier if you put it upside down, if you're gonna carry it in a backpack. The reason I say that, most people probably will carry it in a backpack, or be carrying it a lot, because that's the reason you'd buy this wheel. Otherwise you'd go for a bigger wheel. But this is for, portability is the, is the sole reason to have this or for fun because it's a hilarious little wheel three inch wheel tire on it um, makes it interesting so it does follow tram lines to a degree so just like we were talking about in the previous video we did the z10 where it follows that you get a similar thing with this it's a tubeless tire so there's no inner tube in it in these models used to be when they first came out but not anymore tubeless and if you'd been watching the uh, social medias and we might even have a clip of it in here. Um, we've got three punctures within the first half an hour of unboxing. This. And we interrupt this broadcast to bring you news that in the middle of testing, got a puncture already. Uh, we've done about 150 meters on it. Uh, if you've been watching us on Instagram, you would have seen me post up a photo at three tacks, three drawing pins from riding around in the corridors. So I'm gonna just try some Holtz Tire Wild on a tubeless tire and just see if it seals up all right. Someone in the corridor left out drawing pins. Who does that? Don't think they did it intentionally. They might have done. You never know. So we had three punctures in one, but we filled it with Holt Tire Weld, available at speedyfeet.co.uk. Um, and it's more or less all right now. It does go down over the course of a bit of a week. Anyway, that's a side note. So it's tubeless tire. It does follow the tram lines to a degree, but because it's so wide, you can almost come to a complete standstill on it and just stand there for a second or two, even if you haven't got great balance, and then go backwards. So it's very diddy. Any of your movements you do, so if you're my sort of size, any movements you do, this thing responds almost instantaneously because you've got so much leverage over this tiny little form factor that you just do that and he goes, way off we go, where are you taking me? It's a brilliant little machine, hilarious. Um, is it the best wheel for traveling long distances on? No, not at all. Uh, if you wanted something to do about 10 miles, this will do it. But if you put this at a 10 mile ride out against say, say a V8, V8F, that sort of wheel, um, you'd probably rather be on the V8 if it was just for comfort over a long period of time you wanted. If you wanted to do sharp turns um, or you want to do shorter distances, this is cracking. You can do the distance on it, you can do the range on it. If you need it to be portable at the end of the 10 miles, for example, then you would take this, because it's lighter and much smaller and will go in a backpack, unlike pretty much any other wheel, unless you've got a bespoke backpack made or a giant one that kind of defeats the object of having it small, doesn't it? 
um, and be able to put it on your back if you've got a giant backpack. So this will fit in, I think it's a 25 litre, 15 litre backpack, don't know, something like that. 25, I've just been told, 25 litre backpack is what it fits in. Um, snugly, can't fit a lot else in there, but if you wanted to quickly put it in the bag, sling on your back and then walk some of the way through the train station or whatever, you can do that. And we interrupt this broadcast once again to go and get a very English dish. Fish and chips on the M103. Come out a nice sunny ride, and uh, yeah, it's tipping it now. Hey, Mars. Yeah. Loves it. Nice bit of rain. Mm, nice. Let's enjoy our uh, chips in the rain. In terms of torque, incredibly torquey. So it's an 800 watt motor, which is the same as the V8. Um, so you've got in this title form factor, you've got huge amounts of power packed into a tiny little case. Um, and the battery size is 512 watt hours, which is pretty impressive, again, for such a small form factor. So despite its size, the foot plates, they are a decent size. Uh, I had no sort of pain coming through my feet because they were tiny. It's not like it's shrunk down and they've got tiny foot plates. Foot plates are reasonable size. They're not the biggest, but they're certainly reasonable. And having this padding here and here just makes it a breeze really to ride. Nice and grippy, doesn't wear off quickly. It's also got some rubber inserts in there as well having the headlight makes it possible to commute so i think all in all it is a commuter's dream if you're just popping around town and places like that and even the trails you can take on the trails just beware that that form factor because the tire isn't this big is shrunk down your foot plates are closer to the ground because there's less of it essentially um, but we found another important thing to note is that when the tire was flat as in no air in it you could almost ride it without hardly noticing because the tire wall was such a thick, strong tire that you could hardly even notice it. Uh, and it kind of felt, I didn't test it, but it kind of felt like you could probably ride it like that for a couple of miles with a flat without too many issues. But I haven't tried it, but it's worth noting it. I mean, the other bigger wheels that we have, you once they go flat, they crease over and you can't ride the thing. You have to get off it, you can't ride it. With this, with it flat, you can actually ride it. Which is interesting, I say. Not ideal by a long shot, but if you're a mile away from home, it'll probably get you back. So it is a little bit more twitchy than the bigger wheels. So you've got less mass on the road as it were. So it is a bit more wee, off we go. But it, it does make it a fun and exciting wheel. It's not dangerous, um, it's just more twitchy. If you're used to buying, riding a bigger wheel, you will you'll certainly notice the size difference. And if you keep swapping from one to the other, you definitely notice it. Now this thing will turn on the spot. So you can stand on it, even if you are doing a slightly longer turn, this turns tighter than any other wheel out there, basically. You just sit on the edge of the tire and it just goes round and round and round and round and the foot plates aren't rubbing the ground. Brilliant from that point of view. And if you want to hop up anything, like a curb, piece of cake, I mean, you can jump this thing ridiculously high. So small and light and compact that gripping all this with the legs and hopping up something, really, really easy. Uh, Mario has damaged it. Oh, man. Whoops. Um, as we'd expect when he took it out. Um, he was doing the battery, see how far he could take it before he it, it sort of tried to chuck you off. Um, and he damaged the left hand back side, the right hand back side and the front right hand side, just a little bit. Off his wages, I say. So who is this wheel for? Well, I would have said if you're commuting in a city, uh, short commutes and you need it to be something to be massively portable, then this is gonna be the one for you. If you're thinking about doing trail riding and going out for 15, 20 miler, this is not gonna be for you. If you need something really light and discreet, but takes you that two or three miles, this is gonna be the one. At the same time, you then can go out on a 12 miler without any issues. It's just not as comfortable at a higher speed. This thing does shuffle along mine quite nicely, but it isn't as comfortable as a bigger wheel. Um, so like the V8, for example, in a similar price bracket, if you need something with a bit more stability on the road um, for those sort of, you're going 10 miles every single day, then you might want to look at that. This will do it. 
and you can certainly get accustomed to it. The tram lining, you can mess around with tire pressures to try and get away from that to a degree. But if it's gonna be really rough ground you're riding over, it's gonna be hard work on this. It will do it, because it's all about the rider, but it's gonna be harder work on this than it is on a bigger wheel. So if you're thinking of mixed riding, longer riding, and you're not too worried about how portable it is, then go for a different wheel. If you need the portability, um, and it's a short journey and it's nice uh, road conditions or pavements, whatever, on nice and smooth cycle trails and things like that, this would be the one for you. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Go and follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook page, whatever, all that sort of stuff. And go and share this video. And I will see you guys on the 250 kilometer review of the M103. It's a great little wheel. Even if you've got loads of wheels, go and pick one up just for the joy of riding this. See you next time.